Μια πολύ κακή απόφαση που έγινε για λόγους πολιτικών παιχνιδιών στη Γερμανία. I think the market's being a little bit complacent, and you know that's coming from me, someone who's always on your show talking about how great the world is, and you know usually wearing rose so why, why colored glasses. That? Because 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 the EU or could just go and change its mind overnight on just yeah. about anything or, or any government now you start to think about what what can our government do could they impose a tax on our deposits if they really got into a jam they could this is it opens up a Pandora's box and one of one of our clients mentioned that to me last night when I put out a commentary that it's very hard to close that box and if, if you go back to the history books bank runs are a very complicated thing and banking is a very complicated thing it's very highly leveraged and if people decide to all kind of come out at the same time you really end up with a a, a, a pretty big problem. So I'm, I think the odds of something more sinister on a bank run front within Europe, starting in Cyprus, is a very real risk. You go back to the 1930s, the 1933 bank panic in the United States started in Detroit. It started with them closing the banks in Detroit. It spread through all of Ohio, and then within weeks, banks were closing all over our country. People underestimate how powerful this is when you start taking deposits away, closing banks, don't giving people not giving people access to their hard-earned savings, that their precautionary savings, what they have in case there's a problem. I think it's just a very nasty decision, the nastiest yet in Europe. I, I guess I am a little surprised at how complacent the markets are on this. I really do believe that when you start messing around with things like bank runs, the, the psychology is so uncertain and and what was what was done here for pure political gain in Germany. And understand, this was the SPD attacking Merkel because she was giving money to Russians, German taxpayer money to Russians. To do this, I think, is just risking way too much. Τον κόδωνα του κινδύνου για το κούρεμα των καταθέσεων κρούει με χαρακτηριστικό τρόπο και ο πρόεδρο τη Ευρωπαϊκή Ομοσπονδία Τραπεζών με έδρα τη Βρυξέλλε. Υπογραμμίζει ότι 75% ολόκληρου του δανεισμού στην Ευρώπη προέρχεται από τι τράπεζε. Really would be a precedent uh, for other cases because uh, in Europe we have very performant uh, deposit guarantee schemes. Uh, they guarantee the deposits up to uh, 100,000 euro, which is uh, quite an important amount. And I think that uh, reinstalled the confidence uh, in European banks um, by the depositors. And this kind of uh, taxes can put uh, at risk again this, uh, this confidence. Όχι στη ψήφιση του νομοσχεδίου για κούρεμα καταθέσεων είχε ταχθεί έντονα η ΕΔΕΚ, καλώντα όλου να πράξουν το ίδιο. Η ΕΔΕΚ τάσεται κατά τη κατάργηση του νομοσχεδίου.